Welcome back. There is an all new show all about the origin story of the best selling novel Flowers in the Attic. It's about the motivations of the grandmother that locks her children in the attic. Fascinating conversation with an incredible actress in this series. Let's take a look. A pop culture sensation from best selling author V.C. Andrews coming to television in Lifetime's gothic tale Flowers in the Attic, The Origin. The limited series peels back the curtain to reveal the twisted origin and dark secrets of the Foxworth family. And today I have the opportunity to speak with one of the stars of this series, Jemima Ruper. Thank you so much, Jemima, for being here. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is an incredible story. Tell me more about Flowers in the Attic, and if you could just briefly summarize it for our viewers who may not be familiar with the book. Yeah, sure. Um, so... The Flowers in the Attic, the novel, um, is is about a, a terrible grandmother called Olivia who locks her grandchildren in an attic. And in the novel itself, um, you really see this woman um, purely from the children's point of view. And um, and the, the overall impression of this woman <laughs> is that she's really not very nice. And um, our series um, takes us back to this woman being a young woman and charting her life um, through her marriage into the Foxworth family, um, having children, um, and then becoming a grandmother and leading to um, the point where Flowers in the Attic, the novel, starts. And uh, what's uh, been incredible and uh, a gift for an actor is to have this time with this notorious character that people have this preconception of and completely turning that on its head and, and having us live with her over some decades and over uh, four episodes in our limited series. It really goes into who this woman is and perhaps her motivations in becoming the person she is in the book. What was it like playing this type of character? Um, it was just, I mean, it's a joy. It sounds a weird way to describe it. Um, because... I guess because it's fiction, um, because of the genre of the novels, um, there is there's something so sort of exciting and freeing about um, playing uh, someone like this. Uh, these horrible things happen to her, and she reacts in a very specific way. And um, it's at both times, it's kind of fantasy you can kind of it's a guilty pleasure to sort of be entertained by this but i think because you know she's not a real person it kind of allows you to revel in that a bit but um i hope and i feel that uh, it's all grounded in in things that you know we can all as human beings as women can relate to and I certainly did when I when I read it, and especially the the first episode, which I think sort of sows all the seeds for later on. Um, it what happens to her in her marriage is sadly something that I can sort of relate to uh, uh, on some capacity, and that really grounded uh, the character for me and made me sort of invest in her. And later on, as you know, more awful things happen and she does terrible things, um, but the more you're sort of weirdly rooting for her. And, uh, and I hope that that's the case and that's what comes across and that the audience root with her. I absolutely think it does, and I think that's primarily because of your beautiful portrayal. You really do empathize, especially in the beginning, with her and these horrible situations she's really trapped in, yeah. and you do such a good job portraying that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm also curious about the cast. It's an incredible cast, and there's some moments of levity, actually, that really kind of balance it out and make it so much fun. I know Kelsey Grammer's in this. does a great job providing, you know, an interesting character balance. Tell me more about that and just the cast overall. Um, what's brilliant about Kelsey and Kelsey in that character um, is, you know, meeting Malcolm, Max Irons' character, and, you know, how 
awful he is and how sort of tragic that love story becomes so quickly um, is offset with um, meeting his father who is everything that Malcolm is not. And, um, and for Olivia to sort of get to see what is a happy couple in front of her is such a sort of eye opener for her. And um, it, uh, I think it's gonna be so fun for the audience to, to, to see this energetic, bouncy, charming man in, in, amongst this sort of horrible environment of Foxworth Hall. And, um, you know, Kelsey was the first in the, in the long line of incredible actors that um, I was lucky enough to work with. Um, I, there wasn't a single person that wasn't, didn't not bring their A game. Like everybody, the, the younger actors um, were all incredible. All the tiny parts were all amazing, which is so important. And so often I think people in the smaller roles, um, they are crucial to the overall um, project. And I feel like um, we just had this incredible gang. and. Everyone got on so well, we were all just thrilled to have a job <laughs> at a time when uh, that felt like a luxury. And um, uh, we had this incredible experience and uh, everyone, I, 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 it was just the part I got to play was such a gift. Um, I just got these incredible two-hander scenes, you know, these big dialogue scenes throughout the series, but um, always opposite these wonderful actors. Paul Wesley was amazing. Um, we felt at the time we were like, he's completely miscast. He's far too good looking in this character. And he was brilliant in it. And um, uh, a, a wonderful to work with. Um, Kate Mulgrew, I'm a huge fan. I was before I worked with her. I was so excited to be working with her. And she's phenomenal in the part. And she brings a lot of comedy, um, which is is needed amongst all the darkness. and. Um, and she is a force and I have a lot of respect for her. And yeah, I mean, I could go on and on and on. Like every single person uh, was immense. Well, it's a dark tale, but it's done so beautifully well. And I just, I absolutely loved it. Excited for it to come out for everyone to see. Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, the limited series airs consecutively over four weeks and starts Saturday, July 9th on Lifetime. Jemima Rupert, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Once again, you just do a brilliant job playing this role. I loved it. Thank you, Christine. Thank you.